Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to deploy a K&N model with a model default monitor to alert you to model drift. Okay, so first we get our execution role. Then we create our bucket. Then we import the data set. Do the label encoder, get rid of nuns within fill in A, and then drop user ID. And you, you can save the new data frame you made if you want to CSV index equals false. Okay, then we're going to do x equals purchased, and then we'll, x equals drop purchased, and then y equals purchased. And as float 32, test train split. Then we're going to upload it into the data, the S3 buckets. There's your file path down there. Okay, the X train shape is important because you're going to use that for the featured DIN for the KN model. Okay. Canaan, latest, or version 1, either one. We're going to deploy at this instance. And we're going to go down here. The parameters. The feature dim equals 3, because that was the extreme shape. It's a classifier. And then since it's not too um, big of a data set, sample size is 80. Fit the train and test data. Scored 87% accuracy and then like 77% test accuracy. Okay. That's why I don't like K&N too much. Uh, honestly, I like the linear learner a lot better. And the XG Boost, they got much higher accuracy, more easy. You don't have to find the best K or none of that. Okay, data capture configuration. We're going to deploy the sensors. Data capture configuration equals data capture configuration. Okay, now pay attention to this part. Okay, the reason why you're going to do it this way is because unlike most of the inference, it does predict, predicted label. And we're going to compare baselines. Okay, predictions equals MP predicted label result in predictions. Y test flatten. Okay. As you can see, it did mostly good, yeah. Okay, model default monitor. We're going to deploy at this instance. We're going to use the original data set. Now, I remind you, if you're a data engineer and you can redo the data set and get rid of any non save it to CSV like it's all good and all the columns and rows. Because I originally uh, did it, but it had commas. I originally was going to do it, and then I did a processing job on it, but the problem was it was all in one column, so I just used the original data set. I didn't have time for that. Header equals true. Not a data engineer. Machine learning engineer. This is just to show you how to deploy a K&N model. You can use a model default monitor. Alert you to model drift. Okay, there's the features of the data set. Okay. This is the original. Okay, we skip, we named it this. And now let's look at the suggested constraints. Okay. And then the baseline statistics.
No. Let's see if they got any statistics for us. Nope, not yet. No violations, no statistics yet. I don't got time for it to wait, so. But this is how you use the default model monitor and the deploy the KN. Hey guys, next time we're going to do PCA to explore the features of a data set. Thank you.